guys, welcome back to the channel. We just spent the entire day being tourists in our own city, Washington, D.C. We're gonna take you guys to the top spots in D.C. We probably will not hit all of them because there's so many things to do in D.C., but we fit a whole bunch of different things into today, including, but not limited to, the monuments, the boat tours, and a few markets that we like to have a drink at. <laughs> and a couple of restaurants and coffee shops, too. Yeah, so stay with us because we're going to take you from the beginning of today to the end with the sunset at the Jefferson Memorial. See you there. You say action. Action. <laughs> so here in West DC, there are two coffee shops that we recommend. There's one called a baked joint that has such good food, such good coffee. For a bit of a quicker experience and still excellent coffee, there is a place just around the corner called La Colombe. Let's see the background. And they have an incredible draft latte. I'm sure there are other stuff that's really good, but we're back that always get this draft latte. And I actually just learned that they have them. Well, I knew that they, they also saw them in cans. You can get them in grocery stores or your teeter. But they also have vanilla flavored, mocha flavored, coconut flavored, chai flavored draft lattes. Highly recommended, but be careful how fast you drink them because they are so This right here, the Washington Monument, a staple of Washington, D.C., and it's going to be one of the three Instagrams you'll definitely want to post after being here. <laughs> so we'll zoom in a little bit closer for you guys to see. The Washington Monument was built uh, back in the 1800s, but actually mid-construction they stopped when it was probably 20-30% built, and it was uh, left like that I think for geez, probably five to ten years, just sitting there half-built. And then I think for quite a few years, it was actually the tallest building in the world. Up Just walked very quickly to the marina. It is approximately 12.58 p.m. The boat leaves at 1 p.m. We are about to go on a cherry blossom boat tour. So we're really excited, and we made it. Barely. Yeah, you have to go this way, please. Right, thank yep. you. If we would have walked any slower, we wouldn't. We would not have made it. Take a stand at the bar. I'll take a Corona too. Two Coronas. Yes. Yep. How much? You guys like? Oh yeah, white. Fourteen. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> About time. summer when it's not the Cherry Blossom Festival, so I think normally this boat will cost you like 10 or 15 bucks. You can check your founder a few different websites and you can find some great deals. This is actually our first time doing a Potomac cruise after living in D.C. for over three years, so bringing us back to the tourist days, but also kind of giving us uh, a new perspective. We haven't seen D.C. from the river, so. Really cool. It's a beautiful day. You can get brews, they have snacks. It looks like I think they have some liquor down there. in DC with all the choppers flying. This one I can't tell, maybe it's a news chopper. Police chopper this time. So
off. We'll be getting off right at the Washington Marina where we boarded. And then we are going to stop somewhere along the wharf here for a drink and maybe a snack before we continue on our day. Chesapeake Bay's finest seafood center. So if you're looking for any good fresh seafood in DC, this looks like it's the place to get it. got over to Eastern Market. So in Eastern Market, there's a bunch of like little shops where you can buy everything from paintings to jewelry, to purses, to rugs, to clothes, anything you can imagine that's kind of random. And you'd probably put on like a bookshelf or maybe a centerpiece for a table. So let's give you a quick tour here. everywhere which is you know one of our favorites if we're trying to have a good time good food a little bit less of just the random stuff you can buy I'd say the biggest difference is definitely the Union Market is more focused it seems on food and drink whereas Eastern Market is more a mixture of uh, stalls of this is what you can buy it's more talk about painting story things like that and they do also have food stalls where you can get fresh meat and produce here it's more, they have like small little shops of I'm looking at like a spice shop and then like a milk dairy ice cream shop and then they have shoes. It's a little more of like a mini 
outdoor mall, you'll see as we show you around. Personal favorites, vanilla sprinkled donuts. I might have to get one. Can we get uh, one of those vanilla sprinkled donuts, please? And a uh, Nutella crate, please. The last time I was here, I got two of them, so I'm slacking this time. Thank you. Now that's a happy girl right there. Let's go, we have crepes and donuts to eat. Mac has his favorite kind of donut, vanilla frosting with sprinkles. And I got a Nutella crepe that I am so excited to eat. Freshly baked. Freshly made. Let's see if it tastes as good as the last time we were here. <laughs> Once again, we are in the situation where we are power walking to try and make it to the next big event, which is the Jefferson Memorial at sunset, and we are still about 1.5 miles away, <laughs> and the sun is going down. Setting. So we are booking it, trying to make it there. Jefferson Memorial. So many things we were able to do today, as you guys saw in the video. However, we absolutely did not cover all of the things DC has to offer. So when you're planning your trip, make sure that you put in extra time because there are a lot of things that I'm going to briefly mention that you should also check out. The museums, there are so many museums and they're all free, which is the best part. Our personal favorite is the Air and Space Museum because we like the technology and things like that. Uh, and then also the ones with the dinosaurs. I don't know <laughs> Those are a great one to go to. Georgetown Waterfront restaurants there are awesome, especially in the summer uh, between I don't know, May to September time. 
yeah, everyone's like hanging out outside. There's bars, restaurants, and a whole bunch of things to do. And then a few blocks away from the Georgetown waterfront area, there's some areas to kayak, paddleboard, and do a whole bunch of different water sports. We have yet to do that, so maybe this summer you guys will see a video of us doing the uh, water sports this summer. The good news about making these videos is it's pushing us to do some things that we might not have done, just like doing the boat cruise that we did earlier today. Also, if you go right across the Potomac in Arlington, there's an area called Clarendon, which has a lot of restaurants and areas to walk around. Also one of our favorites, actually right when we first moved here, that's where we lived for about 12 to 18 months between Chelsea and I. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little area, so if you have the extra time, go for it. The last one we want to add in is maybe places you want to go out. Obviously it's not going to be for everyone, we personally do like to go out, so we know some of these areas pretty well, which we won't have in this video. But U Street area, U Street and 14th, that is a hot spot in DC. It's hopping off, to say the least. Then we also have Adam Morgan, which is more of a college district, depending, usually in the summer, because that's when a lot of the interns are here in DC. So guys, that pretty much wraps this up. If there's a spot in DC that you've been to before and you want to recommend, leave it in the comments below. Other than that, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.